Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Outlook, you can navigate to the folders in your account and display their contents using the navigation bar. The navigation bar was called the navigation pane in older versions of Outlook. The navigation bar appears at the bottom of the Outlook window and displays the categories of Outlook items, such as mail, calendar, and people, for example. When you click on a category button, the items within that category will then be displayed within the folder pane at the far left side of the Outlook window. You can change the layout of items within the navigation bar by selecting the Options command from the Folder Pane drop-down buttons menu of commands within the View tab in the ribbon. You can then set the layout of the categories within the navigation bar in the Navigation Options dialog box that appears. The default setting for the navigation bar is for it to be displayed as compact and contained at the bottom of the folder pane. To allow the navigation bar to span the bottom of the Outlook window, uncheck the Compact Navigation checkbox. Set the maximum number of visible items using the spinner arrows in the box. The maximum number of items that can be displayed in the navigation bar is 8. To change the order the items are displayed in, select an item and use the Move Up or Move Down buttons that appear to the right. Click the OK button to apply any changes when you are finished. You can also access the Navigation Options dialog box by clicking the More Dots within the navigation bar and then choosing the Navigation Options command. The navigation bar is broken down into separate sections. You can click the name of one of these sections to view the Outlook folders displayed within that section in the folder pane. For example, if you click the Mail heading, you will see your Inbox Mail folder as well as your other mail folders. If you click on a folder displayed in the folder pane, the contents of that folder will then be displayed to the right within the Inbox pane. For example, clicking the Inbox folder will display a listing of the email you have received. You can then access the contents of the folder in the Inbox pane. To adjust the view of the folder pane, click the View tab in the ribbon and then click the Folder Pane button within the Layout button group. You can set the folder pane to be displayed as Normal, Minimized, or Off. You can also control whether your favorites are displayed within the folder pane by checking or unchecking the Favorites command. If you select one of the mail folders, you will also have access to the Reading pane. This pane displays the contents of the currently selected mail message in a pane to the far right. You can set the display of the Reading Pane by clicking the View tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Reading Pane drop-down button in the Layout button group. To adjust the settings for the Reading Pane, click the Options Choice within the Reading Pane drop-down button. Use the check boxes in the Reading Pane dialog box that appears to adjust how items are marked as read, turn on Single Key Reading using Spacebar, and turn on Automatic Full Screen Reading in Portrait Orientation. At the right side of the Outlook window is where the To-Do bar will be displayed. This bar does not appear by default in Outlook. The To-Do bar shows your calendar as well as any upcoming appointments and tasks. You can set the display of the To-Do bar by clicking the View tab in the ribbon and then clicking the To-Do bar button in the Layout button group. You can then set the display options that you prefer in the menu of choices that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.